Hey guys, welcome to Fur Tutorials. So guys, today I create really cool liquid melting text animation in Cinema 4D. So firstly guys, I take more text, simple, and type any letter like S and alignment take middle. Guys, I change font. Font, I use Arial Black. So go on top. this one yes guys increase depth i take like 50 and also increase height height randomly like 300 centimeter yeah right and create smoothness so i go to caps and start caps take fill it and caps take fill it yeah and radius guys i take three and step i take five yeah, same radius 3 and step I take 5. See guys, that's my simple smooth text. And now, guys, I apply real flow plugin. So go on here, real flow, and take screen. Yes, right? Okay, guys, I create base. So I take cube and go to front view panel. Make smaller like this and attach on this text. Yeah. Guys, I increase size like this and increase. Yeah. Right. See, guys, that's my simple composition. And now again, I go to real flow and firstly, emitter. And guys, this time I take this time circle, this one. Yes, guys, go on top, circle position like this. Yeah, little bit down. Yes, that's it. Yes, right. That's my circle position and change size. So go to object and breath size. I take like randomly 25, make smaller 25. Yes, and play. Yeah, great. Okay, so guys, now I increase frame. Frame, I take like 400 and full frame. Guys, I go to top view panel. That's my text. Go on here. Last one. See guys, that's my circle. So go on here and press this animation key. Guys, go to 100 frames and change position, circle position here and press this animation key. I go to 200 frames and again change, check and 300 frames, go on here and press this animation key and lastly 400 frames and check, right? So guys, go to back and play. See guys, right? That's my animation. Yeah, okay. So guys, stop. I change flirt, some settings, go to display. Guys, go to size, increase like this and flirt size, resolution. Now I take like 50, 50 and surface tense, I take 0 0.1. Go to back and play. Yes, right guys, that's my animation, so stop. Guys, now I apply collider tag on both object. So I go to more text and right click real flow tag and use collider, this one. And guys, friction increase like 0 0.5. Bounce, I take 0 0.1. Yeah, roughness is good, all is good. And play. Yes, great. Right guys, that's my collider tag. And now, guys, same apply tag on this flow, actually cube. So select this, that's my collider tag. And copy the shortcut command is press control key, drag and drop in cube, right? So go to back and play. Yeah, see guys, that's my collider, right? Okay, and now 
guys i apply gravity so again i go to real flow and use gravity this one yes and play yeah that's much better right okay guys i change gravity because i create smoothness so strength i take like 400 go to back and play yes great okay so guys but guys that's not correct it's not like a melting effect so stop and go to emitter and guys speed i take like 100 because i create smoothness and slowly slowly effect so all is good and now Guys, go to screen. So, play. Yes. So, guys, go to screen. And I go to solver. This one. And auto uncheck. And main sub step. Increase like 100. And max sub step like 150. So, guys, go to back and play. See, guys. That's it's now heavy particles. But guys, that's so smooth. See, right? That's my smoothness particle. Yeah, okay. So guys, stop now. Guys, you can change this GPU. Click on GPU. So go to back and play. Change angle like this. So go to back and play. Okay, so stop guys. Stop. See guys, that's my melting effect, right? And now, guys, I apply mesh. So go to back and again we are flow and use mesh yes and guys so go to back and play Now I stop this animation because system getting slow. Yeah, great. Right? Okay. So guys back and now I apply C4D Studio Lite. So I go to file and merge. I select the C4D Studio Lite and open and close. Yes. So guys select this flow and background and attach on this cube, this one. Yes. And now also apply material, guys. Red material, actually blue material on more text and yellow on mesh. Yes. Go to back and play. See, guys, that's my yellow mesh, right? Okay. So, guys, again I go to mesh. So you can increase resolution. So that's medium. And smoothness, I take two. Yeah. And guys, go to render setting. Same guys, render setting, MB occlusion and global illumination. Indirectly cache, I take low. And T, select only geometry. And save five path. Guys, format, I take JPEG sequences. And that's my save five path. Go to desktop, I create new folder. Like RAN. And take any file name. And I go to output SD is full all frame. So close. That's my render. And now, guys, before render, click on screen and I go to cache and use cache check and cache simulation. Click after this building cache, create render. Right? Okay. See, guys, so 
that's it by simple smooth liquid animation is finished so if you like my video please share and subscribe my youtube channel thank you